Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Before we begin, please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Cam Tyhammy Crochet. So let's get started. So today we're going to work on this pattern here. We're going to work on some baby booties. I'm going to be working on the newborn size. So I'm going to be using a three millimeter hook and my milk cotton this is like a mint green color um this cotton does call for a 2.5 up to a three millimeter hook now with this pattern the pattern has different sizes so the person that made this pattern has the pattern up to 12 months but we're going to work on the newborn portion of this pattern so before we begin, let's go ahead and look at the abbreviations of the pattern. This first one here is a BEG, and actually that stands for beginning. So let me just write that in really quickly. So this is your beginning. When you see a pattern, it starts with BEG, that's beginning. The next one is your back loop double crochet, your chain or chains. DC stands for double crochet. DC two together stands for double crochet two together. SC stands for single crochet. SLST stands for slip stitch. And ST stands for stitch or stitches. So we're just going to follow along with the pattern. As you can see here, normally when you start a pattern, it's kind of like in a paragraph. There's no distinctive um, rows in there. So what I did was when I wrote out the pattern, I just went ahead and put individual sections for the pattern so that it's not one big paragraph. No one wants to sit and put their finger and try to guide along to try to figure out which line they're on. So I made it a little bit simpler than just one big paragraph so that you can understand it better. I can understand it this way better. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to chain 11 and I did want to mention that this is round one and this is the sole of the booty So the first thing we're going to do is chain 11 If you do not know how to do the basic stitches of crochet I do have a absolute beginners tutorial to show you how to make the basic stitches your slip knot your slip stitch And so go check that out if you don't know how to do the basic stitches so we're going to go ahead and chain 11 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So once you have your eleven double crochets, we're going to go into the next section. One double crochet from the fourth chain from the hook. So this chain does not count as a double crochet. So you're going to take your hook and yarn over. You're going to skip three stitches. One, two, three, and make your double crochet into that fourth chain. Just one double crochet. Now, once you've made your double crochet, now you're going to make one double crochet in the next six chains. So after that one double crochet in that fourth chain from the hook, you're then going to make one double crochet in the next six 
chains. And remember, your chain that you make in the beginning does not count as a double crochet. So for my beginners, just in case you didn't see how I made that double crochet, go ahead and yarn over. Go into your next stitch. And pull up a loop. You should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over again and pull through two. So now just continue making your double crochets all the way across. You should have a total of seven double crochets when you get to the end. Well, it's not really the end because when you finish, you'll have one more double crochet left. So I'm going to go ahead and make these double crochets here. And I'm going to meet you when I get right when we have one double crochet left. So remember, you're going to make a total of seven double crochets going across. And you should have one double crochet left. I'll be back. Okay, so we're at the end now. We're not at the end. We still have one more stitch left. So in this last stitch here, we're going to make eight double crochets in this last chain that's left over in the row. So go into that last chain with eight double crochets. So I'm going to go ahead and add these eight double crochets to this last stitch here. And all eight of them go in there. There's no chaining or nothing like that. These eight double crochets is going to allow us to round this corner without there being any spaces. And make sure that you are crocheting in that piece of yarn that you have, that tail that you have from when you first started. So I'm going to continue making these and I will be back. Okay, so now we have our eight double crochets going around. And as you can see, it's a very nice, smooth transition to the other side. Putting in those eight double crochets really helps you to get around to the other side. So now we're going to move on. And on the other side, we're going to put one double crochet in the next six chains. So that's one double crochet into the next six chains. So once you've made your eight double crochets, now you're on the other side. So now what we're going to do is we're going to double crochet into the next seven double crochets. So you have your double crochet row there that you made. And then you have that chain row when you first started. So right after you make those eight double crochets, there is a space. It doesn't look like anything's there, but it is there right into that space right next to that last eight double crochet. This is the center of those double crochets. You don't want to go here. You want to go right up under there into that next stitch there. So go into that stitch and make a double crochet. And so now you're just going to continue making double crochets across. You're going to make seven double crochets into each of these spaces here. Into each of those chain spaces. Make seven double crochets. Make sure that you are incorporating your yarn, that tail there. So you don't have to worry about weaving anything in later on. So I'm going to keep making these double crochets and I'll be back. Okay, so this is what we have so far. This is still just row one or round one. So now we're going to continue on. Once you've made those seven double crochets in that last stitch, now you want to slip stitch to the first double crochet to join everything together. And when you get to the end, you should have 28 double crochets going all the way around. So go into that last stitch here. And you're going to make seven double crochets into that same stitch. Four. Five.
If you need to push your stitches to the side, you can do that as well. This is six. And this is seven. So now once you've made those seven double crochets, you want to go ahead and slip stitch into the very first stitch of the row. So now we have those seven double crochets in here and we're just going back around that corner again. And again, now we're just going to slip stitch to the first double crochet to join. Okay, so now we're going to join these two ends together here. Remember that that chain does not count as a double crochet. So you're going to immediately go right into that first stitch with a slip stitch. And that's going to bring the two ends together. So now that you have, make sure that you count your stitches. If you have too many, then you've done too many stitches and you're probably going to have to frog it and start over. But we're not going to do that. I'm just going to count really quickly. You don't need a stitch marker. I'm just putting this here so that I can see when I'm counting, I can see where my first stitch is. So I'm going to count these all the way around and I'll be back. Okay, so if you're following along with the pattern, this is what it should look like. You should have 28 stitches going all the way around. And so now we're going to continue to round two. So now at round two, we're going to chain three again. Once you slip stitch, go ahead and chain three. Remember, this does not count as a double crochet. And then you want to put two double crochets into the same stitch. So I'm going to remove the stitch marker. So that doesn't get it away. Again, you don't need the stitch marker because we are slip stitching. Um, I, which I really hate because it causes that line. But it is what it is. Go ahead and chain three. Just like it says here in our pattern. So once you've chained three, remember that chain does not count as a double crochet. Go into your next stitch over the, the same stitch with two double crochets. So in that same stitch where you slip stitch, go ahead and yarn over and put two double crochets into that stitch. So now once you've made those two double crochets in that first stitch, go ahead and make one double crochet in the next stick six stitches, excuse me, one double crochet in the next six stitches across. Okay, so now that you have your two double crochets into that first stitch, we're going to go into each of these next double crochets, one double crochet in the next six stitches. Uh, six stitches, excuse me. That's one, two, three, four, five, Okay, so now let's go ahead and make sure that we have the right amount of stitches going across. And we do. So let's look at our pattern again. Now that you've made those one double crochets in the next six stitches, the next step is to make two double crochets in the next eight stitches. So now you're going to make Two double crochets into the next eight stitches. So this is in this first one goes two double crochets. And then in the next one you put two double crochets and you're going to do this eight times. So I'm going to make these double crochets and make it do what it do. 
Okay, so now I have those two double crochets in the next eight stitches. So now we're going to move on and we're going to make one double crochet in the next six stitches. So every time you go to your next step, make sure that you are counting your stitches because you can get lost because of all the different changes that we're making. So I'm going to continue making my stitches and I'll be back so we can move on to the next step. Okay, so now that we've done our six double crochets across, we're going to move on. Now we're going to make two double crochets in the next seven stitches. So just like we did with the two double crochet in the next eight stitches, we're only going to do two double crochets in the next seven stitches across. And this is going to bring you around and back to the beginning of your project. So I'm going to make these two double crochets in the next seven stitches and I will be back. Okay, so now I have my two double crochets in those seven stitches. Go ahead and slip stitch into that first double crochet to join your stitches and you should have 44 stitches. If you have less than 44 stitches, then you missed a stitch somewhere. If you have more than that, then you have too many double crochets and you want to go back and check that out. So now we're going to go ahead and slip stitch into the first double crochet of the row. Remember your chain does not count as a double crochet. So make your slip stitch. And now we're moving into round three. So as you can see, that's the bottom of the booty. This is the sole where the little one's foot goes on top of. So you want to make sure that that is a decent size so that his or her toes are not hanging out of the shoe. You want to make sure that it fits properly. So let's go ahead and move on. So now we're jumping into the midsection. So let's go ahead and look at the pattern. So our next step is, as I said, we're going to do the midsection and we're going to chain three, which again does not count as a double crochet. And then we're going to start working on some double crochets in the back loop. So once you've made your slip stitch, go ahead and chain three. Remember that does not count as a double crochet. So now we're just going to take our hook and go right into the back loop. So we're going to make a double crochet in the back loop. Here's your first double crochet, which is the same double crochet that you slip stitched into. And instead of going the normal way through two of those stitches, we're going to go into the back loop only. So this is the front of the stitch and this is the back of the stitch. So you just insert your hook into that back loop and make a double crochet. And we're going to do this all the way around till we get back to the beginning. So you want to put one double crochet into the each of the next 43 stitches because that first one, we did that first one. And then now we're going to continue on with the next 43 stitches. So just make your back loops into those stitches. Make your double crochet in the back loop into those stitches. And I'm going to meet you back at the beginning right before that chain three. So now I'm going to continue making my double crochets all the way around. When you're done, you should have 44 double crochets. If you have less then you are missing a stitch. You have skipped a stitch. If you have more, then you probably made too many double crochets at some point. So go back and count your stitches and you may have to frog it out, um, which means to remove your stitches and go ahead and fix that. So I'm going to continue on making these double crochets in the back loop and I'll meet you back at the beginning of the row. 
Okay, so I'm back at the beginning of the row. And as you can see, it's beginning to fold in. And that is what we want. That is why we put those double crochets into that back loop. You will get that little line there. But that is to be expected because it shows the definition of the booty. So I'm going to put my last double crochet into the back loop here. And now we're simply just going to slip stitch into the first back loop double crochet to join it. Now, when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you put that last stitch. When you make your join, that you put that last stitch in the back loop of that first double crochet where you're going to slip stitch. So you're going to slip stitch in the back loop of that first double crochet that you made. I'm sorry, I'm out of the camera. I'm just putting my hook in there and go ahead and make a slip stitch. If you were to make a slip stitch through both loops, that line would be uneven and it would look funny. So you want to make that last slip stitch in the back loop of that first double crochet. So this is the bottom of that booty. And then now we're just working our way up the sides and we're going to start working on the toe portion. But this is what she looks like as you're working your way up. It should immediately begin to fold in if you're putting those stitches into the back loop. And naturally, again, you will have that line going around, which is just a distinction between the sole and the side of the shoe. So let's continue. So now we're going to start to work on the shape of the toe. So now to begin our round four, which is we're shaping the toe, go ahead and chain one, and then you're going to make a single crochet into the same stitch. So chain one and go right back into that same stitch with a single crochet. Make sure that you're going into the same stitch that you slip stitched into. So I'm going to make my single crochet and you're going through both of those loops of your stitch, not just the back loop. So just one more time. Now after you make your first single crochet, you're now going to make one single crochet in the next seven stitches. So basically you have eight single crochets going across. So now we have our eight single crochets going across. Always make sure that you're counting your stitches because you don't want to fall short on your stitches. So now that we've made our eight single crochets going across, now we're going to double crochet two stitches together eight times. So the way that we do that, and this is just basically we're decreasing, so we are making two stitches into one. So go ahead and yarn over and go into your first stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. That gives you three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through only two of those loops. Then yarn over again. Go into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through all three. And that is how you double crochet two together. That's going to make two stitches into one. So we want to do that seven times going around. And just remember to continue to count your stitches. And I'm sorry, we're doing that eight times around. So now we're going into the next one with a double crochet, pull through two, yarn over, Go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. And that's how you double crochet two stitches together. I'm not sure why I'm taking that out. I don't know if I made a boo-boo or not, but I'm going to do it again. So go into the stitch, pull through only two, yarn over, go into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through three. So now just continue doing that all the way across. You're going to do this eight 
times. Make sure that you are counting your stitches as you go along. Remember those two stitches are now one, so you want to count them as only one. So I'm going to finish making these double crochets two together. Remember you want to do it eight times and I will be back. Okay, so now this is what it looks like after you made those two double crochets together. It's already becoming defined and in the front area where you can, where you would put your little one's feet. So we're going to go ahead and continue on. We're going to continue making some decreases, double crocheting some stitches together. So let's go ahead and continue. Okay, so let's go back to our pattern and now we're going to, we've already done the double crochet two together eight times. Now we're going to put one single crochet into the next 20 stitches. So there's no need to chain, I mean there's no need to slip stitch because we're still in that same row. So go ahead into your next stitch with a double, with a, a single crochet and you're going to make 20 single crochets going all the way across. I'm going to continue making my single crochets and I'll be back to show you the next step. Okay, so now back to our pattern. So now that we've made those 20 stitches, those 20 single crochets, now we're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet to join everything together and you should have 36 stitches. Make sure that you're counting your stitches every time you go around. You don't want to have too little and you don't want to have too many. So let's go ahead and slip stitch into the first single crochet of the row. And so now you see it's coming together. So now we're going to go into round five. You're going to chain one and make one single crochet into the same stitch and then one single crochet in the next seven stitches. So basically you're going to make eight single crochets going across. So once you slip stitch, go ahead and chain one and then make your eight uh, single crochets going across. So remember to count your stitches. Remember do not skip any stitch. Make your single crochet into that first stitch that you slipped stitched into and then just continue on from there okay so now let's go ahead and make our eight single crochets going all the way across there's no chaining <clears throat> just a simple eight single crochets and then when we get closer to the toe we will continue from there So now we're at the area where we're going to double crochet two together. Make sure that you are counting your stitches. Make sure that you have eight single crochets here. So now let's go back <clears throat> to our pattern. So now we're going to double crochet two together four times. Go ahead and yarn over. Go into your stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two only. Yarn over again, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. <clears throat> and that is your first two double crochets together. So keep doing that, making sure that you are doing that four times. You're going to double crochet two together four times. So this is my third time. And this is the fourth time. And now you should have four, two double crochets together four times. And remember to make sure that you're counting. Always, always count because you can't mess this up. It won't come out right if you don't put in the right amount of stitches. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to continue on to the next. Well, actually, we're just going to repeat what we did on the other side. So now you're going to make one single crochet in the next 20 stitches. Same as we did on the other side. You just want to repeat that over again. So after you've made those two double crochets together four times, go ahead into your next stitch with single crochets. I do apologize for not being in the picture 
Um, but I'm just making some 20, I'm making 20 single crochets going across. And when I'm done, I'll meet you so we can continue. Okay, so once you've made those 20 double, uh, single crochets, go ahead and slip stitch to the first single crochet. And you should have 32 stitches going all the way around. Remember, we decreased because we did our uh, two double crochets together. So now once you get to your end, go ahead and slip stitch into your first stitch. And this is what it's looking like so far. It'll fit nice and snug on your little one's feet. And the yarn is so nice and soft so it won't scratch up their skin or irritate their skin. So now we're just going to continue making our way up. Okay, so we are at round six, and now we're going to chain one and make one single crochet into the same stitch, and then one single crochet into the next seven stitches. So basically, we want to make eight single crochets after you've made your chain one. I think the reason they do this is so that you don't get confused and just start off in that same stitch that you slip stitched into, and that's why they put it like that. I don't know. So I'm going to chain one. And now I'm going to go into that same single crochet with another single crochet into that same space from the previous row. And now you want to make eight double crochets. I'm sorry, eight single crochets going across and I'll be back. Okay, so I have my eight single crochets going across here. Now let's go back to our pattern. Once you've made your eight single crochets, you want to go ahead and double crochet two together twice. So you're only going to do it two times this time around. So now remember, we've taken those two stitches and made them into one. So go right into that first stitch. And then go into your next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. That's your first decrease right there. So now go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. And that is your two decreases, your double crochets, two together. You did that two times. So now that we've done those two double crochets together twice, we're going to make one single crochet in the next 20 stitches. And this is just to finish off the row. So once you've made your slip stitch, go ahead and continue on making your single crochets across. And I'll be back. Okay, so we're at the end here. I'm just making my final single crochets. And just like your pattern calls for, go ahead and slip stitch into that first stitch. And when you do that, you should have 30 stitches going around. And that's only because we did our two double crochets together twice. So now you should have 30 stitches at the end of your row. So go into the stitch, the very first single crochet of the row, and make your slip stitch. So this is what it's looking like so far. You have that nice round portion in the tip of that toe. So now let's go back to our pattern and we're heading into round seven. So you want to chain one and then make one single crochet in the same stitch and then another single crochet in the next seven stitches. So you're just going to make eight single crochets going all the way across, making sure you're starting with that same stitch that you slip stitched into. So chain one, go back into that stitch with a single crochet. And then when I get closer to that toe area, I'll show you what to do from there. Okay, so back to our pattern. So after we've made our single crochets, we're going to go ahead and double crochet two together for the last time. This is the front area of the toe and is the last stitch of our decreasing. Remember this, those two together, you're going to crochet those two together. Go into your stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, 
Yarn over, go into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through three. And that is your double crochet two together for the last time. So now back to our pattern. Once you've done those two, the, the double crochets two together, go ahead and make one single crochet into the next 20 stitches. And then when you get there, slip stitch to your first single crochet and join. And you should have 29 stitches. So I'm going to continue on and I'm going to make my 20 single crochets. Remember to count your stitches, making sure that you have the right amount of stitches. I'm going to continue on and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm at the end of the row now. And now I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into that first single crochet from the previous row. So this is what she's looking like so far. It doesn't look like it would fit, but actually once you slip it onto your baby's foot, you'll see how it will slide nice in there. And the toes will be nice and comfortable up in the front. It's not too tight and it's not too loose. And it feels really great on the baby's skin, so it won't irritate their skin. So now we're just simply going to make single crochets going all the way around. We are now stepping into row uh, around eight, which is the upper section of our project. So you're going to chain one and then make one single crochet into the same stitch and then one single crochet in the next 28 stitches. So you should have a total of 29 single crochets going around. Remember when you make your chain one, go back into that first single crochet uh, in that first stitch that you slip stitch into and make a single crochet. So now I'm just going to continue on. In this section here, you want to make this as long as you want to. You want to make it as high as you want to, depending on it's your preference. Um, I'm just going to go only a few rows up so I can show you what that looks like when it's all done. So I'm just going to keep going around with my single crochets. That's all we're doing. You should have 29 single crochets going all the way around, and it should fit very nice. And again, the length of this booty from the ankle up is completely at your discretion on how long you want to make that. So I'm going to go ahead and continue on and I'll be back. So before I continue on making my rows, I just want to show you what that looks like so far. You do not have to come up as high as I'm going to. The pattern actually calls for you to go up to 17 rows. But again, that's at your discretion. You can make it however you want to. And you can also use a different color. You don't have to use all the same color. You can switch it up to a different color. So I'm going to continue with these. And when I come back, I will have both of our booties done so I can show you what they look like. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I think I've made maybe another 12 rows after I made that last double crochet two together row and you see I have a little piece of paper towel in there <laughs> just to get the tip of it to puff up a little bit just so you can see the detail on that booty so you can keep going up in more rows if you want to with your single crochets because this is going to fold over so once you're done and you have it the length that you want it to be you can fold it over and again you don't have to come up as high as I did I really hate that line there but I'm following the pattern so I wanted to show you what that looks like when you follow the pattern exactly. Normally I would use a stitch marker here to eliminate that line, but I just wanted to see it the way that the pattern calls for it. So as you can see, I'm right here. I'm folding that section down so you can see what that booty looks like. And so I'm going to go ahead and finish the other one. And when I come back, I'll have both of my booties done. Okay, so here are the booties and they came out really great. I'm glad I decided to do that newborn size. I will put a link in the description box to the patterns for other sizes, for larger sizes. But I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Cam Handmade Creations. Have a great day. Bye-bye.